Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am back with more Gibius Cthulhu adventure. All right, I want to go to the castle. Hey, Luca, could you take me to the castle? To be honest, I'd rather not. But what the heck? You're my friend now. Meet me outside when you're ready. All right, I'll do that. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. No problem. There we go. Well, Kitty, I guess it's off to the castle. Yep. Vlad's castle. Let's do it. So you were apprehensive around the town folk, but a guy called Vlad in a dark castle on a craggy hill that's actually a desecrated monastery just gets a, sure, let's do this? Don't take this personally, Buzz, but the fewer humans, the better. Well, maybe except Luca. He seems marginally Ouch, better. Ouch, kitty. Good guy, Luca. Excuse me. All right, let's see. Where are we going? Oh. The hell? Why is there a samurai here? Ay ay ay. Where's there's the samurai? Oh, these are the masks. Okay. I say you let us through. Do my eyes and ears deceive me? It it spoke. Yes, it did, and it wants to get to the castle, so step off, clowns. Let us not be hasty here. But it's just like in the tale. It is not just like in the tale. Did I just advance the plot accidentally? One talking cat. Must be just clever trickery. It's not. She can actually speak. Silence, deceiver. But... It is not just like in the tale. It is some kind of trick. Be gone! Alright. A group of fierce, intimidating masks are blocking our way to the castle. You know, if it was just a group of masks, they would just be lying there on the ground. These are people wearing masks. Walk no further. Turn away. No! And leave. Hi. It's imperative that I make it to the castle. We are under strict orders not to let anyone through. Turn around, leave, do not return. Strict orders from who? From he who rightfully owns the place. Turn around, leave. Come on, I really need to get through. Not without word from the master. He's expecting me. No one is expected. We know nothing of you. Leave and do not return. Sorry to interrupt your furry convention. Nice evening, huh? Turn around. Leave. That was a little rude of you. I think I'll return to town. Bye. Well, fine then. This is literally the only thing I can do, only place I can go. So apparently Luca's just gonna take me back and forth as much as I want. Hey, barking cat girl, how you doing? Hey, Maria, here's an idea. Why don't I walk Kiskis in the mountains for you? I'm headed that way. I don't know about that. Look, I normally would tell you never to give your pet away to a stranger, but... Uh, look, I'm on a magical quest, and I need Kiskis. Oh, of course! Help. Another cat! Say? I'll bring him right back. Hmm. I would say no, <coughs> but you do have a magical talking cat, and you don't seem like a bad person. <coughs> I guess I can make one exception. I would not ask <coughs> if it wasn't super important, and Kiskis will enjoy the mountain air. All right, bye bye. Hold on right there. I may be young, but I'm not dumb. I hold on your passport until you bring my kitty back. Thank you. 
You're all right, kid. Come on, Buzz, fork it over. That's reasonable. Okay, everyone know their roles, right? Yeah, I'll do my best. All right, now I got Sistus with me. I swear I was not did not know that talking with the cat would advance the plot. I say you let us through. Whoever you are, be be gone with your trickery. Who I am? I am Miwara, and this is my trusty sheepdog. Azor. Fits the legend perfectly. <laughs> now step aside and let us through. It is them. It is them. You have returned. You truly have returned. You damn right. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I had no way of knowing. You are forgiven. Your path to the castle is open any time. Heck yeah. Hey, the Wookiees playing the Vuvuzela. Kind of a funky jam right there. All right. Some sick ass beats to bug out to. Here he is, as promised, safe and sound. Yay! Did he help you on your magical journey? Him and Kitty defeated an army of scary masked people all by themselves. Wow, really? How did they do that? Well, we're cats, so we did what we do best. We outsmarted them. And I think I have the perfect name for your kitty. How's Azor sound? OMG, it's perfect. Azor! Oh. Excellent. Well, we must be on our way. Thanks for all your help, Maria and Azor. Take care, Buzz and Kitty. I love you, buddy, but you are one confused feline. Oh, he's so cute! He's the barking kitty. Woof, woof, mew. All right. Uh oh, cutscene. Something's gonna happen. That's not a castle, that's a manor. Okay, never mind. It's a manor home built around a, what used to be a castle. Alright, I remember that now. Blood Red Skies. Why do I have an interact with the Blood Red Funny Sky? Thing, the closer we got to the castle, the redder the sky became. I wonder if it's some sort of local weather phenomenon or... Uh, let's stick with the weather theory. I, uh, don't know what I'd do with the sky. Then why is it an option? She's a ninja, but flying's not in the features list. Will it look back through me? Because if you gaze down into the abyss... All right, I'll admit it. My knees are trembling just a tad. It's a long way down to the bottom. I can imagine so. Alrighty. Alright. Heading to the castle. Uh, I miss trouble with fast travel is it won't take you to locations on one screen. Just screen to screen. A very conspicuous pile of rocks right next to the gate. Aha! Uh -huh. The key to the gate was hidden under one of these rocks. Who but Buzz Kerwin could defeat such a display of excellence and security? Did you move every rock? Get over yourself and let's just get in. See, Kitty? Solved the problem, kept you safe. Yeah, yeah, this damsel in potential distress is overflowing with gratefulness. Let's move. I'm advancing the plot by accident over and over again. I was just looking at the rock pile. Whoever lives here, even if they did let us in, is gonna would be friendly to let us in. Probably isn't gonna like us that we like it that we just barged in. 
The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Nice and warm, but I don't need them. What is it with this movie and rappers, seriously? What is the fascination here? It's... I, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, it's your little friend. We've met. Is that supposed to be Scarface? Doesn't really look like him at all. It's, uh, DJ Baldbeard? I don't know. <laughs> DJ Baldbeard? Hey, Vladdy! That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very, uh, urban vibe around him. Vlad is very urban? Are you putting me on? He's ignoring me. I'll let you handle this one, gladly. I'm fine. He's ignoring me. Sick cornrows, though, I have to admit. Alright, can't go upstairs. There's that familiar looking guy again, Vlad the That's Impaler. That's a very, very familiar looking guy. Not the same as the one in Photo Modest, but still, where do I know him from? He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. Then what is the point of this place? I came all this way! You suck! Some kind of family crest, maybe. Cool dragon design on it. Man, if I ever get a family crest, dragon it is. Yeah, back in the days, crests were handed out. Dragon and demon were literally interchangeable. It's cool, but I don't have a use for it. Vlad, it literally, Vlad, Vlad Dracula, Vlad the Impaler was also called Vlad the Dragon. And it didn't mean giant fire-breathing lizard. It meant beast from hell. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Oh. Whoa, that, that's the old monastery's bell tower surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. All sides my butt. It's not, there's no cat, there's no cat tower, all, a castle all above it. First I need to get inside the castle. So there, all missed all sides. Oh come on, you do not need to go There's downstairs. There's that cool dragon design on these banners too. I was gonna say you do not need to go downstairs to look at those friggin' banners. Okay, there is another door over here. Is it just another exit to the other side of the castle? Is that what it is? Yep. Oh, no, there might be actually some place to progress to, if I think, I don't know. Excuse me. I did cover my mouth. Nope. I can't actually visit that other side tower. So that was incredibly pointless. Oh, man. It really is a bell tower. Yeah, I didn't think there'd still be a bell in here. Ugh, slow pantopia. So many slow pannings. A very gothic looking chest. Nice. That's not my property, but far be it for me to pass a chance to find someone else's chest. As shoddy as it looks, there's a lock here. Looks like I could take it down easily with the right tool. Like a bent fork. Yay! Unlocked. Let's see what's inside here. Some vinyls and a gauntlet. Ooh, I like gauntlets. Are there any gems on it? No, it's not gold either. Where'd the fork go? There's literally nothing else here. How do I get out? Oh, okay, I just. Wasn't scrolled down far enough to see the escape arrow. Alright. That was what we call unnecessary programming. The room could have been just big enough for... Meh. Alright. 
Vladdy boy, you want to ignore me? Red Wizard needs food badly. Gauntlet reference. I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. Yeah. Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time First of all, y'all gotta have a throne before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement Oh god, Buzz is gonna try to... Yes The hell? Nice castle! Please excuse me if I'm laughing still. I've only seen more cobwebs on the shelf where you keep your rapping skills old and forgotten. Much like your grandeur is. Ancestors on the wall so they can mock you over centuries. Pretty good. Nah, centuries is how long I'll actually be laughing at just how wrong you look with that women's shirt that you got on. Yo, it's like I've seen it in my crystal ball and can't forget it's evident. Your cat's the only that you'll ever get. Not bad for rap in a secondary non rap related video. Dude, I side playing tricks. Hell, your clothes are like boots and decisions. They don't mix well. You look all over the place. I call him like I see him. Let me just channel Indy. He belongs in a museum. You could channel Mr. Jones till you ain't even close And it shows the only dope stuff you're saying are quotes So now what's next? You're gonna try the two headed monkey trick? Kid, Three headed. I grandfather's name and end the battle quick. Three-headed monkey. <coughs> okay, you don't need this huge pause before every... God dang. I'm doing battle with you, not with your family name. Your only claim to fame is who your grandpa was? Lame. High-born don't make you high-skilled automatically. I don't give a fluffy cat's butt about your pedigree. Uh, yeah. It's not my fault, you weak, can't accept your defeat Your name won't ring any bells, there's no buzz on the street Return to the library where your kind belong This ain't a game, nerd, you better off reading the Necronomicon He knows way too much about me for comfort Like, where I work, that I've got the book Name. Low born librarian, but check the skills I've gotten. I've dealt with black magic and cultists. This is nothing. It's like easy mode, not even trying, having fun. Kitty, cover up this fool with some litter because he's done. Not bad. That is awesome. I can't, I, can't, I can't stop rhyming. There's something wrong with me. I can't stop rhyming. Yo, my words are lethal. Syntax too sick for your feeble comebacks. Give me any tracks to spit on. I'm sicker than fish with people. I'm even sicker than their vicar. Seen too much craziness. Dark come to Transylvania, man. It's all a hazy mess. I'm even harder to impress. There's cultists coming after me. Compared to what I've been through, this rap battle's been a laugh to me. Ever read the Necronomicon? Please get back to me. Now I got a crazy cat that's talking smack to me. Sound like fun? Nah, it's one of those raw deals. Like it feels like a superpower, but it only works when she feels like it i'm going nuts that's what's cracking hey this talk of crazy huge monsters in the crack can bay who knows what's next one problem at a time that's how i'm at it i'm turning alcoholics into caffeine addicts getting bombed by cultists dodging their dark lords dreading esoteric orders hating tourist boards i'm never bored never a dull <laughs> moment since this started when your cat freaking remembers every single time you farted i just roll with it there's stuff that i don't get kind of amazing how do i carry so much crap without a backpack man it's crazy i stop and stare at everything not even blinking then rubbing everything on everything what am i thinking whether in dark fishmouth or romania just stop and talk to random people it's a mania the crap i have to pull just to get some answers like dividing hearts counting pieces for some crazy passwords if it ain't one thing then it's another like drinking vegetable oil and fire water Ugh, this world is crazy surreal freaking foul and dark solomonars masks and cats that growl and bark anyway i'm out of here gotta find my cat a remedy peace i'm on my way to more insanity hell yeah cat let's dig deeper into the bowels of the castle and find peace Roger that. I'll scout ahead and... Not so fast, Kid A. I'm going in first. I need to make sure it's safe. I can take care of myself, Kerwin. Plus, I'm stealthy, so... Nonsense. You're a girl, after all. 
It is my solemn masculine duty to keep us both out of harm's way. Oh, the hell? God. Fine, you dingus. Go ahead. Leave. Watch closely. You might learn a thing or two. Where did that come from? I mean, that's not... It's, it's not only sexist, it's weird. Very, very weird. Very interesting. And also stupid. I have no idea what that's originally from. I just know it was quoted in Looney Tunes of the olden days a few times. Your hair? Can I do anything? Peace, Busara. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Who's asking? What is this? Who's making it talk? It. Tread carefully, human. We're here to. I don't know what tricks you're pulling, Butcher, but I'm not going down without a fight. No Butcher here. I'm a real, bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never! <sighs> I tried. Listen, peace. How do you do this? Talk? A little book called the Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... This is... This is crazy. Why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free, then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. Uh-huh. Calm the down yet? Ugh. Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh, yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. He's currently learning to stop underestimating me. Well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time, got some planetary mess to take care of first. Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenzi? Mm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. As soon as you untie me, kitty. So... Planets? They're in the right order. I can't reach it from here. Jumping conditions not adequate. Jumping condition. Jumping conditions not adequate. Ba -do 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 -do. Oh man, a puzzle. Point to push these buttons when I don't know what they do. I can't reach it from here. Of course you can't. Jump again. Okay. This is probably going to take some time to figure out. Hold on. I'm not the quickest at these. Who is this guy? Greetings, biped. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. 
Hello, Kitty. What's your name, buddy? Hey, Kitty Cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. It used to be an astromo. Astronomo. Astronomer? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube look at stars to hit me. Right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron let me move in here and play with planets. If I guard the gate. Hatches. Everywhere we go. Hatches. Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I guard the gate. That's kind of sad. What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. <laughs> right. Tell me about your grandma. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies snap at them. They think they're sausages. <laughs> Lovely. Blech. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Double checking for recording. Okay, good. Baron says no one allowed. Only they look for it down there. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, big bat. Sure. And freeing Buzz is not even an option. All right. I'm going to fiddle with the control panel a bit. Be back in a second. All right. If this guy, if this works out, then that guy's song was not, in fact, the directions to grandma's. And he fibbed. Did I actually accomplish anything? No. Oh, or maybe I did, because I can push this button now. And I could not before. In your face, humans. I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. <laughs> you really the whole story? He's singing the sequence to push the capstones in. That's yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you. Uh, also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you too, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? But, I mean, I'm not supposed to, I'm not really questioning color or anything, but you're African American or African Transylvanian, and he was purple. It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Ha <laughs> ha. I kind of knew something was going to happen to Buzz because he insisted on going through first and was being a dick butt about it. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. It seems he got what he was looking for. Excuse me. Is that a big old carving of just wings on a rock? Because that's what it looks like. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenci. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Looks like wings. Oh my god, that's just like in the legend. Chris Astley, you should never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. 
Yes, Huge sometimes pair you of can. dragon wings. That's what they got away with. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's kitties, then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. Buzz's sidekick. The other. Almstein is not like this. You think or you know? Neither. I believe. Ugh, never mind. Yeah. Dragon wings. Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need him for? They do call him the butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Oh, he's gonna right. cut them up and sell them for meat? No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. It, it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon. And it literally has no end. Yet. That's kind of cool. So, wait a minute. Does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. It means the book is in beta still. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Sorry, I guess? <laughs> How did you get past Blood and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what happened going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. M my phone's ringing. Mr. Katai? We're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Dawn, is what, that you? What, they got you? good internet Finally. here. Where the heck were you guys? Been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. He did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element. Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here. One sec. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. But what will awaken Nightcrawler, Cyclops, and... Okay, never mind. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found that. So we look for a third one. Right? Hell's bells, another side quest. Awakening the beast really is what we want. Good point. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting, at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. <laughs> well said. A terrible storm. This freak temp is a hurricane, Herbert. If it's to be taken literally, I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day, you won't. Yikes. Shall awaken the beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little, true. I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen. 
for better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the butchers left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth. Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into Fishmouth's stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. He's had as much interaction with the cult as you have. Anyway, going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. I'm going to close it out as soon as we finish this. There we go. Don I R. made my Kitai. way to the part of town Buzz lived in. Just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was Dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. Alright, there we go. Thank you very much.